You're listening to MPS Connections with your host, AJ Hoffman. Welcome to MPS Connections. I'm your host, AJ Hoffman. I am joined today by managers from the Chemic Corner. I've got Ben, Caden, Graham, Sarah, and Ellie. They are all managers today. We're just one manager short today, right? Yeah. Because of sickness, that's something that we got to deal with all the time. It's a little sickness or somebody's got an extracurricular activity or something like that. So, so uh, Jillian's out today, right? Yes. yes. All right, cool. So let's start with our, our first. I want to kind of go around the table and we'll have each of you <laughs> introduce yourselves. So, um, uh, Ben, let's start with you. Just tell me what, what, uh, what grade level you're at and tell me what, what got you into, uh, into this position. Um, I'm Ben. I'm a senior this year. Uh, last year was my first year working at the Chemic Corner. I took the class kind of out on a whim. I needed a, another class to put in my schedule. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so I took the class and ended up loving it. Uh, towards the end of the year, Mrs. DeBoer started talking to me about being a manager. I already knew I wanted to work here again for a second year, and she talked to me about being a manager, and I was 100% okay, wanted to do it. Awesome. How about you, Caden? Uh, hello, I'm Caden, Caden Wood. I'm a junior here at Midland High. Um, it is my second year working in the Chemical Corner and first year as a manager. Um, I became a manager because it was an opportunity that came up, and I really wanted to capitalize and grow on it. So, cool. Graham, how about yourself? Uh, I'm Graham Plishka. I'm a junior. Um, this is my first year being a manager and third year working in the Chemical Corner. Um, Ms. Labor and I were just talking one day, and I said, like, I heard you need more managers. I'd be willing to do it. And she was like, all right. And, yeah. Sounds good. Sarah, how about you? I'm Sarah, Sarah Iqbal. Um, I'm a junior at Midland High. This is my second year working in the store. Um, Ms. DeBoer kind of asked me, like, towards the beginning of the year, she was like, do you, like, she started talking to me, and she was like, you should be, like, manager. And she brought it up, like, multiple times throughout the year, so I was like, I feel like it'll be a good opportunity to get to know everyone and just be more extroverted. Gotcha. Ellie, how about yourself? I'm Ellie Black. I'm a senior, and... I was um, an employee last year, and I just really liked the environment, so I had asked her about being a manager, and I ended up becoming one. Perfect. All right, we'll get into some of the heavier questions. This is kind of a heavy question, I think, for students, but Graham, you're, this is your third year, right? So I'm going to have you tackle this one. Can you kind of walk me through some of the fundamentals of business and marketing that, that apply to the store? Uh Customer service and customer relations are the number one. Um, just um, this year, we had um, the customer service head at the Loons come in and talk to the students. Uh, and it's really emphasized by us and Mr. Boer of just being nice, being welcoming, um, and just creating the best environment we can. And that by itself will generate foot traffic and sales, um, as well as um, being just respectful to everybody and treating everybody with kindness and respect. Uh, and then with marketing, um, just trying to get to every single year you can. Uh, guerrilla marketing is what we do the most. Um, posters throughout the school. Um, on cookie days, there's somebody who is dedicated to standing in the hall and letting everybody know who walks by that we have cookies. Or at the beginning and end of every lunch, standing by the front doors letting everybody know and and then like more specific marketing campaigns like teacher emails and flyers that we can give to teachers but a lot of it's just brute force and trying to reach as many years as we can yeah i've noticed that there's probably more flyers out there for chemic corner than anything else definitely yeah yes. and when you guys are selling cookies there's music going and everything so yeah it's quite a quite a a spectacle, I guess. So, all right, Sarah, can you tell me about some of the more exciting challenges you guys have faced this year? One of the recent challenges we probably faced was the fashion show. It took place today. Um, just trying to get everyone situated, getting their outfits picked out, like getting everyone out of their classes on time so we could just have everything like prepared. And it, was, it took place during like lunches, like both of the lunches. So we had to get everyone and like their partners situated at every door and 
just getting all like the staff who were walking to like getting their outfits while they were teaching it was a little hard and aside from that like um probably like football games getting those set up we have to like carry all of the merchandise and everything up there to the stands before the game starts and we have to be here for like two three hours before the game actually starts and like after we have to clean everything up but other than that i feel like it's pretty good and we all like work together really well as a team so we just end up figuring everything out and it goes pretty smoothly. That's pretty amazing that kind of Miss Mr. Boer kind of relies on you guys on experiences outside of Kemet Corner as well. Yeah, at football games like you mentioned and the fashion show which you guys just had out there, which was amazing. Was super thank cool. You. Thank you, thank you. Guys were all a part of that. So very, very cool. Graham, can you tell me about some of the things that you learned last year? Um, last year was a lot more formal than my freshman year and Having formal managers in the store was definitely helpful, and having a person to go to consistently with any questions, and that was very useful for me. So um, that's one of the reasons why I decided to be a manager and help people out. Um, the like accounting and logistics of the store was definitely a big learning experience and real-world stuff. Um, ordering stuff make stocking stuff making sure we have everything we ordered um making sure that everything's accounted for and that was probably the biggest thing just logistics and the accounting side of everything perfect we should probably explain it too that you guys aren't the only ones that run the store you guys also have employees on top of that it's yes just, you guys are the ones in charge right mm-hmm. yeah most L- days there's three or four employees sure yeah one of you, Ellie, do you want to explain kind of how many employees you have? Um, we had a lot of new employees this year. I think it was around 60. Yeah, I think 57 was the exact number. But <laughs> either way, just a bunch of kids. A lot of them we didn't even know, um, all in different grades. A few of them are seniors, and I'm a junior. Some of them are freshmen, so it's it's all walks of life here. Sure. So basically, if you take Ms. DeBoer's class and you do point three, you have to work in the store. That's just a part of being point three. And so we had a lot of kids who wanted to do it this year, which has made it difficult because we have to fit them all in for to work here. And we used to do it once a week, but now it's every two weeks just due to how many students there are. Gotcha. And I believe, I'm sure Ms. DeBoer probably anticipates that a lot of those people are going to drop out or they realize maybe it's not for them or something, but you guys were telling me that none of them have dropped out so far, right? No, that doesn't no. really happen okay. at all. A lot of the kids, um, they come here and they stay committed. And I think whenever they have their doubts or anything like that, Ms. DeBoer really works on, you know, pushing them or catering them in the right direction. And there's always something to enjoy here no matter what, and it's great. Right. Yeah, Mrs. DeBoer is great at just making sure you love the class. I mean, obviously there's responsibilities you have to do. You have to make sure you take care of. But from the day-to-day, it, every day, uh, Ms. DeBoer just makes sure that you enjoy what you're doing here while doing what we need to get done. I feel like both years we've had like managers that are like engaging with the students and like all the employees that are working so it also makes like a really like nice and positive environment and you just like get used to talking to these people every day so it beca- like you open up to them and you're just like really comfortable around them which is like nice and yeah. That's awesome. So Ben, besides learning from a previous manager's experience how did how do you learn the, the on the job training here I'm like what well, we'll explain that training experience well a lot of it is just like trial and error and stuff just seeing what works making sure that what needs to be done gets done uh, a lot of the stuff is pretty straightforward but then a lot of the specifics we figure out together every day uh, from our first football game figuring out how all that's going to work and uh, figuring out the specifics who's going to help out beforehand who's going to help clean up after Uh, just figuring out a lot of that stuff is mostly just trial and error we make sure we try our hardest and everything usually comes out working out pretty well so yeah understandable tell me like does it ever get frustrating do any of the responsibilities ever get frustrating for sure uh we all (laughs) we all feel our own stress uh from the store and all the other stuff that we have going on in our life Mm -hmm. But it's just nice to know that the five other managers that you work with always have your back. If you need help with something, I never have to hesitate to ask 
Ellie or Sarah, Graham, Caden, Jillian, anyone for help on anything. We always help each other out. Like Jillian's out sick today, so we Jillian's out sick today, so we uh, cover her responsibilities and figure out how all that gets done. So it's always just nice to know that someone always has your back. You're never alone. Yeah, I kind of noticed that in class yesterday when I was I saw you in there and you were kind of texting the group chat because you guys needed a shift that was covered and. It's really cool to see you guys all you know, stepping up and making sure that, that things are taken care of here in the shop. So it's really neat. Um, I'd like to go around the table. I'll start with Ben. And if each of you could kind of give me some advice for somebody who's coming in next year to be a manager uh, what, or even just to come in and, and be a, um, like a customer service representative, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, definitely just be confident in what you do. Uh, that's an obvious one, but... You just have to make sure that you know everything that you do, whether you mess up or not, it's it's going to get taken care of. The people around you will help keep the ship afloat. You're not gonna you're not gonna sink. It's it'll always get taken care of. Definitely. Um, I think the the biggest part is just not getting stuck up over things. Um, there are a lot of curveballs when you're working here, especially during the start of the year. And I think if you can find something good and something bad, then it's just perfect, and it's a great way to balance life here. What about you, Graham? Everybody's needed. There isn't one person that shouldn't work here because everybody comes with their own their own um, strengths and weaknesses. And like a big thing for us is with scheduling is friend groups, knowing what people do and how we can kind of tailor to that. Like trying to have a equal spread of people, and um, everybody's needed, no matter what you do. Uh, you will benefit the store one way or another. I feel like personally, you just need to be able to communicate with all the new managers coming in. And like, as they said earlier, like scheduling. And if you're not available, you just need to be able to talk to your like fellow managers because it gets a lot easier and le- a lot more like less stressful. And when you have like these people to talk to, it's a lot like you figure everything out really nice. How about you, Ellie? Um, I think you just need to be really passionate, but also not come in with, like, a negative mindset already. If you come in and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to hate this, it's just I don't think you will enjoy it. But if you come in with, like, a little bit of, oh, maybe I'll like certain aspects of it or I'll like doing this instead of this, you're going to enjoy it more and you'll get more out of it. Yeah, I, I definitely see a lot of it in school, like, Kids will spend their whole time here just hating school, hating everything they do. And when you get caught up on that and just not liking things, you'll find that you aren't going to like things in general and you just won't be happy. So coming here with a positive attitude is just really important to making it a better place for everybody. Good point. I think a really big thing for managers in particular and just in leadership in general is not uh, just showing that you will do everything. and not telling somebody to do something you wouldn't do. And I think that's a big thing of just kind of demonstrating that this needs to get done. I'll help you. Uh, It's not that I don't want to do it. I think a big thing was last week we were getting new kids and and Kayden was washing the dishes with somebody else. Nobody really wants to wash the dishes, (laughs) but it has to get done. And showing that you're willing to do it as well is definitely important for newer students. Very cool. Yeah, and we were taught as first-year managers, like, with all the new kids and whatnot, um, it's really important to walk them through everything and show that you are—you really aren't above them. You know what I mean? Everyone here is friends, and there's no one treated differently just because you're a manager or you're a customer rep or just whatnot. So it's really important to just connect with everybody on the same level. I love that. That creates a good culture for, for the school. And, everything. and that's really unacceptable, I would say. The, like, I'm, like, power. Superior. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we really don't do that. Yeah. It's just more of we know how things should get done. I feel like at the end of the day, we're all like students and we're all like here for each other. So we just need to recognize that and just don't think you're better than anyone else because you're like in manager position. Like this was you last year. Like you wouldn't want someone else to do that to you. So just keep like the same energy, I feel like. Exactly. Just if you can put, I think about this a lot, if you can put yourself in the other person's position, I think that really provides a good understanding of what you're doing to them and like what your role is in the store. So, yeah. Very cool. 
Is there anything else you guys would like to add or? or? We are trying really, really hard to get a website mm-hmm. um, for yeah. the Chemic Corners. That way we can like just make inventory a lot better and be able to send out clothes to parents. Because right now it's, it's really hard to go online and like find clothes from Midland High to yeah. buy. Yeah. So if, we, yeah. Yeah, what? the time schedule we have available is great for students because we're open for the lunches, but it's, it can be hard for parents to find us other than like football games because we're open at lunches, which not many adults are around the school other than the teachers at lunch and after school only until about three o'clock. So sometimes it's hard for the parents to get, get into the store. So we're really working on getting an online website. Yeah. I've seen you guys at the football games, though, which is pretty cool. You guys are out there. And, yeah, you know. we're at every varsity home football game, yeah. so that way we just hit more parents and get more parents to purchase our items. Are you guys going to try to do that for, for all sports, like the hockey games? Or? So last year we did do hockey games, but it was sort of like a trial run, and I wasn't necessarily involved as much, but from what I heard, it, it didn't go well, and we had a lot of more technical problems rather than sales and stuff like that. Yeah, I could see that so happening. Too. It was just really hard moving lot, everything over. A lot of it's just like cost-benefit analysis mm-hmm. and yeah. trying, like, we wouldn't, we wouldn't say no to something, but going there, trying it, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Because at the end of the day, if we are putting in way more effort than we are, like, receiving in sales, it's just not beneficial for anybody. That's a really good point. I, it, you kind of lose sight of that, too, as, like, a, a community member. What does it take all the effort to drag out a bunch of merch to a, a site and then your point-of-sale system and everything? And, and It's definitely harder for the hockey games because it's miles away from the school as right. opposed to just get a couple carts and bring it up to the football stadium, which is hard enough on its own. It's, we have to find <laughs> transportation and load it all. So it, it can be hard to, to find other places for football games, other than football games, where it's worth it for us to try to sell the parents. Right. Yeah, and oftentimes I've, I've noticed, like, during the start of this year, we, we have supplies, but we just aren't well-equipped enough. Like, we have a, a wheel pusher thingy, but that barely <laughs> works. So it's, it's, things can be difficult sometimes. We just lack of resources in a sense fair enough Understandable. well i love what you guys are doing i think it, this is awesome it, it sounds like a great learning experience for all of definitely. you and it's definitely something that you would you don't recommend to somebody to a fellow classmate right entirely 100%. i think every student here should at least get one year in the chemic corner that's awesome yeah and i feel like if you have just a little bit of chemic pride you'll be really successful because everything comes like stems from chemic pride like if you want to advertise or just like do anything you have to actually like being here to be successful i feel like exactly your position here is only what you make it and just being here you really need to take advantage of that and think and just be the best you that you can be yeah well sarah that's a really good point too though i mean because um I remember being in school and you might not necessarily be an athlete or like a really, really good student, but this is a good way to get involved and, and, uh, you know, Mm -hmm. show pride in your school. So definitely been a different perspective overall for me, kind of not doing what I would normally do and then taking on a leadership role doing it. Mm -hmm. And just like the experience of talking to adults and teachers and staff and, being professional is a big thing. Exactly. Um, I think one of the big parts of it and what I like most is how um, you're really well liked by everybody, no matter what. You know what I mean? Just when people walk in and you help them, there's nothing better than that. Yeah. And yeah, people just like you. That's it awesome. all works out. That's very cool. Well, thank you all for being on our show. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time in your day. I know you guys are all busy and probably have other activities besides just uh, Chemic Corner or scheduling to be on a podcast. But uh, I really appreciate you guys all making the thank, time. Thank you for this opportunity thank you. as well. Thank you. Yeah, no this is problem. excellent. So that's our show. We'd like to thank all of our listeners around the district, around the country, and around the world for tuning in. Uh, we've mentioned before that we've launched uh, a district Instagram page. You can find us by searching, searching for the handle at Midland Public Schools. If you have a story idea, a photo op, or an event that you'd like to promote, you can email us at Midland, at, I'm sorry, at communications at midlandps.org. Thanks, everybody. We'll catch you in two weeks. Do you have an idea for a podcast? Email us at communications at midlandps.org. <laughs>